In what normal world can a rapist and a murderer be allowed to be paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for committing his crimes? This is the story of Ori. Ori was a happy, gentle girl who loved poetry. She always wanted to help others. This is why she volunteered to do her national service in a youth center for children at risk in Jerusalem. One day in the youth center, Ori felt she needed a break. She took her notebook and her music and went to a forest nearby where she sat, listened to music, and wrote. But there, her innocence was shattered. Her light was forever extinguished. A Palestinian terrorist who infiltrated Israel lurked in the shadows of the trees and caught Ori. He brutally raped her, holding a knife to her throat, and then killed her. He wanted to be a martyr, the terrorist said when he was caught by the Israeli security services. He was tried and jailed. But inconceivably, this repulsive rapist and murderer is paid thousands of dollars every month as part of the Palestinian Authority's scandalous pay-for-slay policy, a reward for raping and murdering. He will be paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for raping and killing Ori. We in Shurat Adin will not allow that. We brought a multi-million dollar lawsuit against a terrorist. We will seize all his assets and funds and take away every cent of blood money that he's paid by the Palestinian Authority. Nothing we can do can bring back Ori. But we will at least not allow the darkest, hideous evil to get rich for murdering the light. We will fight back.